So a humanoid robot in a lab at UC Berkeley is now capable of playing an entire game of table tennis, like full rallies, over a hundred shots in a row with a person. And that incredible leap in robotics is just one of the five huge tech stories we have to talk about today. We're also covering how to beat an AI in a job interview, why a robot dog is learning backflips, the secret tech war between giants, and Apple's big move that changes everything for the iPhone 17. Let's get into it. You know, we see robots doing amazing things like running or jumping, but the real frontier is in fine motor skills. And that's what makes this story so cool. Researchers at UC Berkeley have a humanoid robot called Hitter, which stands for Humano-ID Table Tennis Robot via hierarchical planning and learning, and it's just hit a huge milestone. This thing can play a full table tennis rally against a human, with over 100 consecutive shots. It's fully autonomous, which means it's tracking that tiny ball, positioning itself, and deciding how to hit it back all on its own, with a reaction time of just 0.42 seconds, which is faster than a blink of an eye. The movements are actually really lifelike, putting it right at the skill level of a human beginner. Notably, Hitter uses a general-purpose humanoid robot, the Unitree G1, without relying on specialized hardware, and operates fully autonomously without teleoperation. So how do you even get a machine to do that? It's a two-part system that's pretty genius. First, you have a model-based planner. Think of this as the robot's grand strategist. Its only job is to figure out the ball's trajectory and then plan the perfect response, where the racket needs to be, what velocity it needs, and the exact timing of the strike. Once that plan is set, a second system takes over, a reinforcement learning-based whole body controller. This is the athlete. It executes the plan by generating all the coordinated, nuanced motions in the arms and legs to actually swing and hit the ball, all while keeping the robot stable and balanced on its feet. It's that combination of high-level planning and low-level learned physical control that makes it work. This isn't about building an Olympic champion. It's a massive dexterity benchmark. Pushing a humanoid robot to handle a fast-paced, skill-intensive task like this is what drives the entire field forward from factory bots to future helpers in our homes. Let's switch gears from physical robots to something that might directly impact your career. If you're looking for a job right now, there's a very high chance you're not being first evaluated by a human. A recent survey from Resume Builder found that more than 80% of companies are using AI to review resumes right out of the gate. 40% are using AI chatbots to have initial conversations with candidates. And get this, Roughly a quarter are now using AI to conduct the actual interviews. That number is expected to grow. The reason for this is pure volume. Companies are getting absolutely inundated with applications. One recruiter described the daily count as astronomical, and for technical roles like in accounting or data entry, AI is just a necessary filter. Here's the process. You'll log into a platform, and an avatar on the screen will ask you questions. While you answer, the AI algorithm isn't just listening to your words, it's scanning your video feed, analyzing your facial expressions, your tone of voice, and your keyword usage. It compiles all of that data into a report and a transcript for a human hiring manager to review later. Naturally, people are wary about this. Only about a quarter of candidates trust AI to evaluate them fairly. So the big question is, how do you approach it? The universal advice from career experts is to treat it like a human conversation. Speak clearly, be professional, and give solid answers. Reframe your thinking. This isn't an interview. It's your audition tape. Smile at the camera, introduce yourself, and let your personality come through even though it feels like you're talking to yourself. Practice by recording yourself ahead of time to check your lighting and eye contact. Have a few sticky notes on your monitor with key points you want to remember. And this might be the most important tip. After it's over, send a personalized thank you note. Recruiters explicitly say they receive thousands of identical AI-generated notes. If you send a unique message that references something specific you talked about, it makes you stand out instantly and shows you were genuinely engaged. You've probably seen Boston Dynamics Spot Robot before, the four-legged machine that can open doors and climb stairs. Well, it's back, and this time it's pulling off standing backflips. The video shows the full journey, 
from clumsy early attempts where it tumbled into a heap to finally nailing the landing like a seasoned gymnast. It's seriously impressive to watch. But here's the thing. Boston Dynamics isn't teaching Spot to backflip because they're launching a robotic circus. As one of their engineers put it, no customer actually needs a backflipping robot. So why do it? It's all about stress testing the hardware and software to the absolute extreme. When Spot is out in the real world, maybe carrying heavy equipment in a Ford factory or conducting radiation surveys for Dominion Energy, it could slip or trip. By pushing the robot to its physical limits in the lab, the engineers learn every possible way it could fail. They run simulations, test on the actual robot, find the point of failure, debug it, and repeat the cycle. Each iteration makes Spot more resilient and capable of recovering from unexpected stumbles, which is what makes it so valuable and reliable for its actual industrial applications. Over in the corporate world, the competition for AI talent is getting messy and legally complicated. Elon Musk's artificial intelligence company, XAI, has just sued a former engineer named Xuechen Li. The allegation is pretty serious. XAI claims Li stole trade secrets directly related to its Grok chatbot right after he accepted a job at their rival, OpenAI. Elon Musk confirmed it on X on August 30th, 2025. According to the lawsuit, which was filed in California federal court, Li took confidential information about what XAI describes as cutting edge AI technologies with features superior to those offered by CHATGPT. XAI states that during an internal meeting, Li actually admitted to stealing company files and trying to cover his tracks. He also allegedly sold $7 million worth of XAI stock right before leaving. This lawsuit really highlights the intense high stakes rivalry not just between XAI and OPENAI, but across the entire AI industry. It also adds another layer to the existing legal battle between Musk and OpenAI, whom he separately sued for allegedly abandoning its original nonprofit mission to benefit humanity. This is shaping up to be a full-blown legal drama with major implications for how AI intellectual property is protected. And finally, while everyone's waiting for the iPhone 17, Apple is making a quiet but significant move in AI right now. The company just released two new open source AI models on the Hugging Face platform, Fast VLM and Mobile Clip 2. These are both vision language models, which means they're designed to understand and interpret both visual information and language simultaneously. In practical terms, this allows them to perform tasks like generating accurate captions for videos, identifying specific objects within a complex scene, or providing a detailed description of everything happening in a picture. The real story here is where this processing happens. Apple emphasizes that both models are built to run entirely locally on a device, not in the cloud, and they deliver their results in near real time. This approach prioritizes user privacy and speed. They're actually fine-tuned specifically for Apple Silicon. Mobile Clip 2 is a standout, with Apple claiming it's 85 times faster and 3.4 times smaller than its predecessors. You can even go online right now and test a lighter version called Fast VLM 0.5B in your browser, though it might take a moment to load. This release is a clear demonstration of the powerful, efficient, and privacy-focused on-device AI capabilities Apple is developing giving us a strong hint of what to expect deeply integrated into its next generation of products. So from a humanoid robot holding its own in a ping pong rally, to an AI algorithm potentially screening your next job application, to a robot dog mastering backflips, a secretive AI tech war, and Apple's big on-device play, the future isn't just coming, it's already here, and it's moving incredibly fast. I wanna hear from you. Which one of these stories completely blew your mind the most? Drop your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the week's biggest tech stories, hitting that like button and subscribing for more is the absolute best way to support the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.